Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we will discuss about another important topic in PowerShell called strings. First of all, what is strings? Strings are nothing but sequence of characters. Let me write it down the definition for better understanding. Hash is used for the purpose of commenting in PowerShell. So strings are nothing but sequence of characters. See, so I will write it down in a short way, characters. Okay. And second thing is strings can be quoted in a double quote or in a single quote. Let me give an example dollar a. Let us take a single quote. I'll write it as single quote string. Okay. I just close that also. Let me execute that and see the output in dollar a. It is a single quote string. And uh, we can store the results in double quotes as well. Let's just take an example called dollar $B. This is the variable and it contains the data as double quote. Double quote string. Okay, close this and run again. If you run dollar $B, you can see the output here as well. Okay. So totally the strings can be stored in a double quote or single quote. Hope it is clear. Let me take concatenation. It's nothing but combining I can say. Okay. Let us take an example for this. Uh, I'll take again a variable called dollar a. Okay. And I'll store the result here. PowerShell. Okay another variable and uh, we'll store the information cell here let me combine these two in combining we can take use of an uh, sign called plus plus indicates combination plus indicates combination or concatenation okay let me display the result dollar c i will take a variable dollar c then i'll combine dollar a and plus dollar b so now what i am doing i am just combining dollar a and dollar b by using concatenation this is nothing but concatenation okay this is concatenation and storing that result in a variable dollar c let me execute line 10 okay and then dollar c separately oh, one second still it is showing the old data and now i will run it you can see that powershell it is coming in a continuous line okay let me do one thing i will add a space dollar a plus i will use some space now and then dollar b okay this time you will see the result with a space like powershell okay you can see right here there is a no space continuous lines where their power shell cell continuous characters right but when you see this you can see right there is a space the space come from this particular place so even in concatenation we can use or we can add the space as well okay just remember plus sign indicate connection or concatenation so if it is a character then put that information in a double quote but it is of type integer then don't don't need to put that information in a double quote or single quote let me take an example i will do some calculation i will take a number one and i'll store the result in 10 there and i'll take another number called number two and i'll store the result in i'm oh, sorry I'll, I'll take a result i mean give the value 20. let me display the result number three and it is combination of number one plus number two okay hope you already know the result right it should be 30. let me execute and dollar three here again no output coming here let me check it again yep you are seeing right 30 is the result 
Suppose if you put this information in single quote, then the result is not the same. As I said, if you are using integer, don't put it in a quotes. Let me execute and show the result to you. If you run it now, you are seeing right, it is combination of 10 and 20. It is not combining. It is just combining 10 and 20 because it is uh, PowerShell treating this information as characters, not an integer because we have placed that information in a quote. Okay. So be careful while writing the information whether it is an integer or string. Make sure about that. Okay. That is about concatenation. Let me take another substring. So if you want only part of that information, part of that result, you can use a substring. Okay. Let me demonstrate how what, what do you mean by substring. I'll take a variable called $x and I'll store the result PowerShell. Okay. Now I will do $x. I'll use the method called substring. What I will do? I will give the parameters here like 3.7. Hope by now you are expecting a result, some results, right? Let me run and show you. So when you execute line number 21, you will see the result PowerShell. When you execute this line, you will see the result E R S H E double L. Okay. What about P O W? Right? We are only seeing E R S H E double L. We are not seeing P O W. Why? Because we have given the instruction that it should start from the third. This is zero, this is first, this is second. So this is the third one. So that is what PowerShell took the third element in the output. So total output is PowerShell and inside that we said uh, like take the third one. So it's just looking for the third index. So E is present. So it started capturing from E. After that it went till LL because we mentioned as it should capture 11 letters after that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So you mentioned 7, so that is what is taking completely like ERSHEWL. In case if you mentioned 5, it will not be a completely complete string. Let me execute this. Yeah, right. You are seeing only ERSHE, not LL. LL is removed now because we have mentioned 5. So if you mentioned 7, it will take complete till the end like LL. So this is how the substring works. And if you want to know the length of the variable, for example, dollar $x storing the information, PowerShell, right? If you want to know the length, take use of method and run this dollar $x length. So it is of 10, 10 uh, PowerShell contains 10 letters there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, right? Length is 10. You can store this information in any variable. Like I'll store that in a dollar result. And I'll execute this. If you run this dollar result, you can see the same 10 is coming, right? If you want to make into lower case, like dollar x completely it should be lower case. So just use the method called to lower and run this. You can see right PowerShell all the letters are in a lower case. If you want the same thing in upper case, then use dollar x method called to upper. Here is the method to upper. Close the parenthesis and run it. You can see it power cell is completely in a capital letters. So this is how you can convert upper or convert into lower. Let me take another important component here join. If you want to combine two of the things with one particular element, you can take use of join. For example, in dollar here I will store the result power okay i'll take another variable dollar b same result or i will store shell in that what i will do i will join these two by using one operator like dollar a 
डॉलर ए एंड डॉलर बी दीज टू शुड बी जॉइंट हाउ बाई यूजिंग दिस पर्टिकुलर थिंग लेट मी एग्जीक्यूट दिस ओके यू आर सींग रेट इन डॉलर ए पावर इज देयर इन डॉलर बी सेल इज देयर वी आर कंबाइनिंग बोथ ऑफ दीज टू बाई यूजिंग दिस पर्टिकुलर साइन इन द मिडल दैट इज वॉट यू आर सींग द आउटपुट एज पावर स्पेस नॉट स्पेस वॉट वी कैन कॉल हाईपन एंड देन सेल इफ यू वॉन्ट टू पुट एनी अदर थिंग यस यू कैन डू इट टेक एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ डॉलर ए एंड देन डॉलर बी दिस टाइम आई वॉन्ट टू जॉइन दीज इंफॉर्मेशन बाई यूजिंग फॉरवर्ड स्लैश let me execute this yeah you are seeing right it is coming with a forward slash in the middle right forward slash is coming you can take anything it will take dollar a dollar b i want to join these two by another name like important okay so this imp should come and sit below in between that you can see right power is coming here let me take little top power is coming from the dollar a cell is coming from the dollar b in the middle you are seeing the imp this imp is coming by using this join operator so this is the use of join operator you can combine any of the results by using join so let me take another example of Uh, let me demonstrate replace now. Replace. Okay. Dollar I will take a variable called power shell. Okay. I will use the method here to replace. Okay. This is the way to replace. Okay. I want s yes, should be replaced with x. Okay. Wherever it find s, yes, that should be replaced with x. Run these two lines. and you can see the result right p o w e r x h l l in the middle x come here why because we have used the method to replace wherever it see s yes, that should with a x by using the method we can do that you also we can use a operator also for example dollar a contain power shell i want to use the replace operator where what i want I want to replace P with A. Let me run this. You can see that our shell. <laughs> Earlier it was power shell. Now it is changed to our shell. From where this A came? This A came from this particular replace. In this one, we have mentioned wherever it finds P, that should be replaced with A. Because of that, it came here. So. we can you take use of replace either by using the method or by using the parameter both works and final thing is split dollar a it contains power shell right i want to split that at a particular line or a particular letter called yes so wherever it find s yes, that should split there Let me run this. You can see it. So dollar a actually contains power shell. Dollar a contains particular result called power shell. But when you use the split parameter and execute it, wherever it find yes, it will split there because in the condition we mentioned, just split wherever it find yes. So when you run that, so it split it into two lines now. power and hll why because after p o w r there is a letter s so it find s and power shell split at that because of this condition and the next uh, elements goes into next line and those are those are hll so this is all about strings in power shell hope the session is useful let me know if you have any queries